right, guys, good morning. Uh, looks like it's snowing a little bit this morning. Um, so we're going to kind of hang out, hang back, and wait for it to clear up. Just want to talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, some of the issues that we deal with up here. Um, you know, we've got, you know, a lot of construction companies that have been up here for a long time. I myself has probably been up here about seven years. And, you know, when you when you come into a small town like this from out of town, um, you're not always accepted. Um, I would know that from experience in the past, but um, we came up about seven years ago and got our start up here and we've been, we loved it so much. You know, we never wanted to leave and we've been here ever since. So I've been running into a little trouble and I didn't really want to put it on here, but you know, we've got some bigger local contractors that kind of have had a monopoly on things, you know, for the last 20 years. And they still do. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but they still do. And, you know, with the snow pit that we're running out here, it's actually leased by the town of Mammoth Lakes. So they actually lease it from a private uh, owner. And then they sub out the, um, the operation to, you know, one of the local larger contractors that has experience, you know, running the snow pit. Well, I kind of ran into a problem uh, the other day, just recently, because I, I hauled out there my first time, you know, using my truck, everything went great. Um, you know, it's a, it's a billing process. It's supposed to be like a 30 day net. You know, everyone up here pays their bills. So we all pay the bill, pay our bills. Um, nobody, it's one thing about a small town, you don't go around stiffing people um, or else you don't last. But I came up with the idea because we're, we're in an emergency status up here. I mean, we've got so much snow. Uh, we could probably use the National Guard up here. It, they've actually been up here before. But, um, you know, about a week ago, I kind of hatched a plan to bring up 15 trucks from down south. And word started getting around about that. And I heard a lot of rumors, heard a lot of different things, people talking, as they do in a small town. So we kind of started hearing some feedback in it and it wasn't real good. Um, some of these local contractors that have been up here, you know, having this monopoly on things, they just, they weren't happy about it. And right away, um, you know, the feedback I was getting, you know, I realized that, you know, they didn't want, they didn't want me doing any trucking up here. And, you know, the thing is, is I've got, clients that are in desperate need of snow removal so you know this snow is it's causing safety hazards everywhere so you know and we're going to get more in february so that these local contractors do not have the abilities to haul the snow i mean they have a lot of equipment and, and things like that which is great but but they don't have the manpower and you know I kind of have a good idea why they don't have the manpower, but I will get to that later. Um, so anyway, um, I <laughs> I got a I got a, a text out of the blue from one of these guys, and uh, actually the one that runs the snow pit, and they informed me that I need to have a deposit on these trucks per eight hour period. Well, per eight hour period, mind you, they want $1,500 per truck. Okay. <laughs> so, so that equals up for 15 trucks. It's a lot of money. Okay. Uh, it's 
you know, 20 grand or real close to 20 grand. So, um, obviously a smaller contractor like us, we can't come up with $20,000 a day to run 15 trucks. And we should be allowed the same, um, leeway as all the other local contractors, which it's a 30 day net system. I mean, we have clients, we have to truck their snow. We need to send them a bill and they need to pay us. And you know, that takes a 30 day process to get that done. Um, but, but the guys running the pit here, uh, they, they found, they had a, they hatched a plan to stop me from running trucks because I don't really know why I think they want, I think they want to keep the trucking to themselves, even though unfortunately they have the trucks. I, I went by their place yesterday and, but you know, everybody's trucking snow and their trucks are parked. And I'm, I'm asking myself, why is that? Why are their trucks, why are the trucks parked? And then it basically dawned on me that, oh, they don't have drivers. They, they can't get drivers. So, and that's the reason why they've got a million dollars worth of trucks parked and they're not hauling snow all over the place like crazy when they should be. And, and not only are they not hauling snow because they have no manpower, which is, you know, that's, that's a logistical problem for them. They are literally trying to hinder me from doing my job. So I'm going to put this out. I'm going to put this video out and get the word out because, um, I need trucks up here. I, we are in desperate need. I have over 20 clients that need to move snow. Okay. And in order for me to get trucks, they're not going to allow me to go out to the pit with any more than six trucks. And when I, if I bring six trucks out for an eight hour span, they want me to give them $9,000. Okay. $9,000. This is insanity. Okay. So we've got games being played in Mammoth with people that uh, have been up here for a very long time. And they could, they've controlled things for a very long time. And they're really not happy about new, new blood coming in and doing things. And look, let's, let's just be very honest here. Like I'm not a greedy person. I just want to make a living just like anyone else. And, but when you come and you come at me like this and you try to, you're basically trying to put me out of business. So I'm definitely going to do something about it. I've already gone to the town and I've uh, I've put an inquiry in. Haven't heard anything back. I've got six trucks up here right now sitting in a hotel. And I am not going to be allowed to run those trucks until I provide a check for another $9,000. Now, mind you, I just gave $9,000 to them day before yesterday. So... They want... $9,000 per six trucks every single day. So I don't know anybody, even, I mean, large companies that could sustain something like that, especially with, you, you see all the hand crews that we have working. You know, those guys um, were paying everyone inflated um, hourly rates right now. So it's costing a lot of money to dig out this town. And, you know, we all should be working together on this. And you've got a couple, couple guys at the top that have been at the top for a long time that are not willing to, they're, they're apparently they're in it just for the money. They don't care about, um, the people. They don't care about getting the work done. I mean, they, they've got lists that are like, you know, a hundred clients long. Okay. And they just put people at the back of the line and it's like, well, we'll get to you when you, when we get to you. And that's just not good enough. Like we need as many trucks as we can get up here right now. And we need to get as much snow trucked off of these properties as we can before February. It's gotta be done before February because February historically is the biggest month here. 
So, um, you know, it's, it's something that we just have to do. And I'm going to talk with the town some more about this because I just think, um, I think they're making a big mistake here. Um, they're allowing a private company to, to operate, um, a public facility, um, because they lease it from, it's basically temporarily leased right now. And, and it's for public use. To dump snow um it's just like the dump right just like you go to the dump and you pay at the dump and like i have an account at the dump and you know they do a credit check they you get an account set up and then you go dump and then every month you get a bill okay this operation should be no different you know do a credit check on your contractors and let them if they if they pass a credit check, then, you know, set up an account. And if they don't, then, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a COD basis, but, um, that's how it should be. And it's, and another thing, you know, me being kind of the new kid on the block, uh, I am the only one paying this deposit. I'm pretty certain of that. So I think, what they're going to find is they're going to run into a big problem, um, especially this being like a public facility that they're treat. They're not treating every contractor um, accordingly the same. Um, it's it's kind of a good old boy system. And, you know, if you're in, you're in. And if you're not, um, you know, it's kind of tough luck for you. So I'm sure there'll be more on this later, but it's it's kind of. I don't really like to do drama on my channel, but um, this is definitely drama for us. It's really creating a burden for me um, and what I need to do for my clients moving forward. And so I wanted to get it out there because if there's anybody that can help me, um, I'm just I'm just trying to do my job. And and I feel like you know my hands are being tied and. Uh, it's it's just a really tough and a bad feeling to have when you know you have all this work to do, okay? And you've got, you know, you've got the ability to do it, but you've got people that don't want to see it. They don't want to have it. And they are making moves to, to basically stop you from, from doing that. So... Anyway, that was my thoughts this morning. I don't want to spend a whole lot more time on it. Um, we'll get back to the content and, uh, you know, showing you guys what we're doing every day. Because we're not going to stop. We're not stopping anytime soon. Uh, we're doing nothing but growing. And, you know, we're doing a service up here for the town, for the people of the town. It's not for the town. Let's put it that way. It's for the people of the town. Um, the town really should step up and for the people and make sure that these contractors are able to provide their services without being burdened because you know i don't know anyone who could pay nine thousand dollars a day to run trucks for hauling snow on top of paying you know a trucking rate and fuel and a bunch of other overhead expenses it's just it's complete insanity you know we need the room to be able to have a turnaround on our money you know we're we're billing clients for the work they're paying and then we are in turn redistributing and paying our overheads that's that's how business works so um we're really being hindered right now it's really tough i have six trucks up here in a hotel like i said earlier and I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go down there and cut them another check for 9000 or or send these trucks home. Um, that's kind of the dilemma that I'm faced with right now. And I talked, you know, uh, the owner and I spoke last night quite a bit by text. And, you know, I tried to tell him I, I want to work together. And, um, you know, we should be working together. And I should be showcasing what they do because they're... 
they actually have built a great company and uh and i just don't think they're being smart with uh the way they're acting and the way they're you know treating me and they're basically treating the the folks in in the town the same way because you know these guys are are stopping a big project that needs to move forward because and they and they're doing it purposely it's not like um you know this is this is something this was not a rule this deposit this fifteen hundred dollar per check was never a rule until i decided i was going to bring 15 trucks up here once i decided that uh, they came up with an idea on how to stop me from doing that and um, by god the idea is working it's going to work because i can't i can't afford it but um maybe there's somebody out there that that has some ideas and it can give me a hand with this but i just want to get it out there like i said i don't like to do the drama but we're going to uh we're going to keep going we're going to keep moving forward i'll probably go pay the nine thousand dollars today so i can move those trucks and keep keep get keep my client happy but it's just not right and there's there's a uh there's a lot of other guys that are hauling snow just like me and i know they're not paying the fifteen hundred dollar deposit per truck and so this being a public facility i kind of have a feeling that you know they might be sticking their neck out a little bit that's that's probably not a good I idea for them to be treating contractors on different levels you know so we'll see how it goes i'll keep you posted hopefully things change i'm gonna i'm actually gonna go right back down to the town this morning and i'm gonna try to speak with somebody you know higher up and because ultimately they're in charge if they lease this pit and this facility is was leased, you know, in the interest of public safety. It's basically a public safety issue. They've got to keep the town clear. So, and that's what us contractors are out there doing. We're clearing people's properties. We are, um, you know, obviously we're making money doing it, but um, it's a job that has to be done. So. And like I said, it, right now it's not being done to the full potential that it could be, and it's a real shame. It's a real shame that politics are being played and uh, we're not all just working together. So thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate all the support. I'll keep making them. I love making them, and I love uh, getting the feedback from you guys, and I'll have more soon. So thank you.